Well, I go on, y'all. This is the mayor, Capella Gray. You know what I'm saying? You now tuned into Hot New Hip Hop, 12 Days of Christmas and all that. We here. I dropped Gallus in January, like, 4th or something mm. like that. So it's been a whole year, Gallus. So at the beginning of the joint, it was more like a proven thing. It was like, you know what I'm saying? We could get, I was proving that we could get on radio without a budget. I was proving that we could do certain things without certain things. I, I, I was trying to make sure I didn't do no scandals or no weird shit. I had to make sure everything was copacetic and that we could get on just being ourselves. So the first half of the year, I was just in that mode where like, we could prove that we can do this for real. Second half mm -hmm. is when we started wilding. And then, mm -hmm. <laughs> as you can see. Things were picking up at the beginning. As soon as I dropped Gallus, the city was like, like it was real organic love from the city. So it was already going, going crazy off GP. But then like June, no, no, I'll say like March, April is when the labels them start knocking. Then like June is when the radio started tapping and tapping in for real. It just started getting crazy. So, you know what I'm saying? Number one on urban radio, um, a platinum plaque, a gold plaque. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get on radio everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Trying to do mad shows. I wanted to do Summer Jam. I wanted to do Powerhouse, Made in America. You know what I'm saying? A couple of things. For all of my songs, I'm not gonna lie, when I'm making all my music, I think like, I believe in all my songs. So it's like, every time I leave the booth, I leave the booth saying, I'm not gonna lie, if the right ears hear this, it's out of here. So with Gallus, the right ears just heard it. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's a marketing thing. Now I'm learning the game, but it's fine. But yeah, nah, we got other vibes though. When did I make the record? I finished it January 3rd. That was so fire about Gallus. Yo, the whole, I right. This new wave of hip hop, and this new way of putting things out, whatever like that, this shit is so fire because now we can just put it out. Just put it out. You don't gotta hold on to music for, for seven years and you don't do this and do that. And we can just put it out. So, you know what I'm saying? As soon as I, was, as soon as I finished Gallus, I dropped Gallus. You know the movie after that. I mean, musically, I guess, you know what I'm saying? Back That Ass Up is a cheat code already, like I said before in other interviews and stuff like that. This, back That Ass Up, once you hear it in the club, it's already pandemonium as soon as you, as soon as people hear the, that, the first strings or whatever. So like, and the beauty about hip hop is taking one moment and transforming it into a whole different moment. You know what I'm saying? So like, taking that vibe and turning it into an uptown slash Caribbean vibe slash whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Just different. The lyrics were inspired it, you know what I'm saying? Regular real life events and other stuff, fiction, non-fiction, shit like that. It was super receptive of it. They were, they were, first of all, I, they reached out to me, which is already OD. They reached out and then like, I was supposed to bring Juvenile out for Summer Jam too. Like I was gonna drag into some historic shit, but it was pouring the day of Summer Jam. It was ugly that day. So it was a, it was a lot of things happening. But yeah, nah, they supported, supporting for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Especially because I'm acknowledging them. Yo, bro, the, the, the I don't wanna call them old heads. The pioneers them, they gonna show love if you show love too. You know what I'm saying? Like they were a big cause of hip hop. So you know what I'm saying? You show that love, it's always gonna be a good vibe. You know, I was a writer and producer before. So like being behind the scenes and watching a song go crazy that you had parts on, like watching it is dope. But being a part of it, like being the actual artist now, this is nuts right here. I'm not even gonna lie to you now. I'm just I'm just grateful that God didn't, didn't make me have to humble myself. You know what I'm saying? I got to talk spicy the whole time. It's a song I produced, mixed, mastered everything myself. So it's a great feeling, you heard? Gallus twice, for sure. <laughs> I love it. There was other songs that were dope, though. You know what I'm saying? So I guess tied for third <laughs> after Gallus one and two. I would say uh, Essence was going crazy this year. Yep. I really like that damage joint. Well, um, where name again? Um, her. Okay. <laughs> Nuts. Peaches was going crazy too, but we passed Peaches a couple months ago too. That was you know what I'm saying. But I'm not gonna lie, it's been a good run. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a good year. You heard? <laughs> All right, so I mean, realistically, Clubhouse is supposed to be a positive, you know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be a positive tool, you know what I'm saying? You can share information, learn information, you know what I'm saying? Connect with real industry specialists and whatever like that in the field that you're trying to get in. However, there's a lot of bozos as well. So if you're gonna be on Clubhouse, you know what I'm saying? It's still useful for sure, but just, you know what I'm saying? Just, 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 just try to just vibe responsibly when you on there, you know what I'm saying? Take the information that you need, you know what I'm saying? Ignore what you don't, just you know, make it make sense for you. Don't delete the app, but make it make sense for you. Make it make sense, that's all I'm saying. I mean, I think it's a positive thing, you know what I'm saying? As, as long as, yeah, it's, it's, a new way for someone to discover music can never be bad, facts. I just feel like there's a lot of garbage, let me not call anybody music garbage, because there's a market for everyone. It just, everybody's able to put music on there. So it's like everybody almost has a fair shot in going viral, because whether you're industry or non-industry, a good song is gonna 
go through the you're gonna see through the cracks in in, in TikTok. They don't give a fuck about anything else besides if it's a good quality song. So yeah, it's a positive. Everybody's putting everybody on the same plane. Uh, when Shorty got snatched up at my show, I was performing Gallus, and I don't know she it was, she just had a little too much dip on her chip. I guess she started she jumped in front of me and started like trying to like twerk on me or whatever like that. And then her man had like came from the shadow realm. I don't know where the fuck he came from. He just came out of nowhere and just like lifted her up. As soon as I see her take flight, like legs in the air and dragged her out, I was like, oh nah, that shit went <laughs> that shit went crazy. But yeah, nah. Other than that, I don't really be paying attention too, too, too much to to the little, you know, them them shit that. First of all, let me tell you right now, this whole decade, I'm gonna be on everybody's song. They sprinkle me on everything, like pause. I'm dead serious. I wanna be on everything. I'm about to have a little Wayne T Pain run where I'm on everything. So Let's I got go. that joint right there with Kawhi and A Boogie and them. The Dream Doll joint just dropped. The joint with Russ just went number one as well. We got joints with everybody. I'm talking <sighs> Queenie. I got it's, it's getting ugly, bro. Mm-hmm. Trust me, with Joey Badass, not Nisha. It's ugly right now. This mask up is about to drop and stuff. And it's really just relationships, conversation. Most of these things just be a conversation. Yo, bro, you in the studio? Yeah, I'm in the studio. I'm in your city. Yo, pull up on me. Simple. I'm the new guy here, but everybody know I'm not wasting no time simple so 2020 early early 2020 like january i decided that i wanted to be an artist and slip from behind the scenes when i decided that i really just it was really that type that tape that i dropped that's what i was able to drop it so quick it was really just a compilation of all the songs that i was writing for other other people i just put all them references on one on one tape and just put put that out so that was really a, a compilation of just mad different sounds and different vibes like yeah now i'm out the first tape was that compilation then at the beginning of the quarantine the um I had put out the corn tape and that was dope, whatever like that. But it was like making it for that moment or whatever like that. Gallus was like the first time that I was just on some like, all right, I'm gonna put out this joint and push a single. I'm pushing no singles. I was never that guy. But I was like, I'm gonna push this one for real. Let's see how see how far this goes. And I'm one for one. You heard it? <laughs> like I, I, I'm, you know, I ain't do too shabby. No, I don't have the album date yet. It's not done. There's still some more vibes that's missing. I just gotta make sure that it's right. But I feel like this tape. I can't rush because it's so important. It's an important tape. A lot of people put out cool tapes, cool albums or whatever. This is not one of those. This is an important joint. This is about to shift the whole culture for real. You can see how serious I am being dead serious. You see how you see how the first time everybody heard Gallus, it's just like, yo, what the fuck is this? Like it's just a different type of that's his album. We have a whole decade to really introduce for real. It's a whole this is the sound of the decade. This is the you know what I'm saying? The whole new vibe. So I gotta make sure that it's Everything is flowing right. Everything copacetic. Everything valid. So you, you should expect it like the top of the top of next year, though. I feel like my sound just I don't want to say got better, but it just like I just learned so much in the past year with just how to make music and how to how to put more of how I talk into the music and just mad different styles of writing, mad different styles of producing and all that. And then now it's like it's just way better from the skits to everything. It's just gonna feel like. You're really getting to know someone from Uptown, New York City, just by listening to the tape. I don't really have a favorite. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't disrespect nobody or like that, but I feel like the one of the reasons why I even got why I even wanted to be an artist myself was because I wasn't really getting excited about music anymore. Like it was like not. I don't again. I don't want to disrespect nobody. I already know people gonna twist these words anyway. But for real though, I just wanted to. I just really, as a fan of music, I just want to be excited about music again. So like, I don't know. I'm excited for mine. That's some drop. I know that everybody's got real comfortable. It's like, all right, cool. I'm famous. I can put out whatever, and they're gonna eat it up because I'm famous. Me, the good thing about me is I'm not that famous yet. So I got a lot to prove. So you know what I'm saying? Y'all get y'all catching me at a great time of my life where it's like, listen, every song has to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, just trust me. This tape is more the fuck out of here tape. But. Mm-hmm. Real content. Now you gotta actually talk about something. You're gonna have to actually sing again. You're gonna have to actually get musical again. You're gonna act, you're gonna have to actually make it make sense. We can't just, you know what I'm saying, put together. I mean, there's songs that's gonna be good for a certain vibes. Like if there's like a you know a calm little club vibe where people just wanna be drunk or listening to something. But I I wanna get everybody back into like full great bodies of work and like listening to like just paying attention to, I don't know, just moving more intentional with how you make music and everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to bring every, bring music back to hip hop again, if that makes sense. I feel like they weren't trying to change me. They just understood what I was trying to do. They just understood the movement. They weren't trying to like edit and tweak it. They weren't trying to 
make me the you had my heart and you had it from the start type of R&B artist with the squinty eye and the baby oil. They weren't trying to do nothing extra. You know what I'm saying? They just liked me exactly how I was. They understood the vision and they were just trying to do whatever they could to help with my vision. And I respected that. So I was able to do the, a nice little JV joint venture. So, oh man, nice little... We, we, we consult and we figure this out together. You know what I'm saying? It was a little different. It was a joke. We had the whole industry on <coughs> in pandemonium. Fact. Yeah. Ask around. Everybody. We talked to everybody. Capital just made it make sense. Shout out to yeah. Capital. Congrats. You are um, doing the most. So I have a cheat code because I'm, even though I'm in hip hop and all that, we make hip hop music and we make those type of vibes going to make the city. I mean, that's going to move the city. I'm a musician. You heard my last job before Gallus. I'm a whole organist. So, and everybody know the ref, the, the the you know what I'm saying the correlation between jazz music and Christmas. So it's about to be very lit for me right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> we about Love to be that. everywhere. Where I'm trying to find these fucking forty belows. You know what I'm talking about? It's these boots. I got this shit's hold on. <laughs> I got the I got the black joints, but I need the fucking I need the tan joints. This is right here. You see these these fucking forty below? These just are so fire. I gotta get the. I gotta. Get, <laughs> I just can't find them nowhere. They ain't dropped yet. So word, you gotta, you gotta plug for me on. A lot, bro. I'm not gonna lie. From beer features to the tape dropping to more singles dropping. I'm talking movies dropping because Alipac films about to tap in. Gallus the short life of the Gallus the short film. I want to do. I want to do a short film for all the songs I'm about to drop. I'm there. I, I think it's time to drag it. Do a little cinematography, getting them acting chops and all that shit in there. You know what I'm saying? 